Hello, welcome to handsonerp.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about Payables monthly cycle. So before we move on to uh, implementing our accounts payable by logging into our newly created responsibility and setting up initial payable options, we need to uh, understand few things. And one of them is Payables monthly cycle. And that's what we're going to talk about in this tutorial. Okay. So, the objective of this tutorial is to give you an idea of what payables department go through each period. As I have discussed this before as well, for most of the companies, a period is a month. Okay, so they work on monthly period basis. However, there are exceptions in the world, so that's why Oracle talks about periods rather than months when we set up Oracle we define periods equal to months okay mostly so this is what happens in a payables department on periodic basis they open a period so before they can do any activity in in a particular period that period has to be open once the period is opened you perform all the transactions in that period and I'm going to talk about those transactions a bit once all the transactions and activity has taken place in that period then the period is closed closing a period marks that no more transaction would be entered in that period okay so closing a period means that said you're done with that period and then you open the next period okay so just imagine opening and closing a period as you op opening a lid of a of a jar and you put lots of stuff in the jar and then you close the jar okay when you close the lid then you can't enter anything else in that jar and that's permanently sealed and displayed in your museum or whatever okay so uh, that's how the payables periods work okay now once the period is open then what kind of activity takes place mainly two things happen in accounts payable the clerks enter invoices okay and uh, where are these invoices coming from these invoices are coming from the vendors so vendors send you invoices and these invoices basically either will come in mail or through email or through through electronic interface or through XML or some other method but bottom line is that these invoices would arrive in the payables department now each department works differently S sooner or later those invoices has to be entered in the system okay either they will be manually entered or they will be electronically uh, you know coming in uh, automatically in your payables uh, module but they will end up going uh, uh, making their way into the payables module now uh, either the clerks would enter them weekly or daily it all depends on your business uh, you know procedures but uh, these invoices would be entered in your payables department now entering an invoice is uh, is one thing okay what's the purpose of entering an invoice so that the invoice could be paid once invoices are entered you know then uh, each company has different payment cycles either some company would run payment batches or pay run on weekly basis somebody would run on daily basis it all depends on business procedures so uh, invoices would be uh, once they are entered it has to be paid okay so this keeps on happening it's not that like first all the invoices are entered then all the invoices are paid and then you close the period you enter in 